How's it going everyone? Welcome back and today we got this problem called FaceTime activations but it says unable to contact the FaceTime server try again. So if you ever get any these problems right on your FaceTime on iPhone then here's how I can solve it. So let's go. Before we start, the first thing that you really want to take a look at is the network itself. Sometimes if you are having a poor network connections, you might get this similar pop up from your FaceTime. So you can do guys, you can come to the control panel and you can enable airplane mode for 10 to 20 seconds. You can disable that or you can just switch your network. Let's say you're connecting your iPhone to Wi-Fi. All you can do, you can just turn the Wi-Fi and turn on the mobile data or you can do the vice versa just to take whether a simple tweaks up on settings can help you or not. Let's say I've done it, but still you've got a same problem here. The next thing you guys, that you guys really have to do, you just got to go to the settings here and at first you got to go to your Apple ID, tap iCloud and here you want to go tap see all, scroll down to the bottom, make sure to enable the FaceTime and you know, like full on FaceTime. If it's enabled, you can turn it up and turn it back on again. And right after that, you want to go back to main settings. You want to go to general here. You want to tap on iPhone update on the iPhone storage. And now you're going to scroll down here and then you want to just go to that FaceTime app. So let me search that for here. Tap the apps, tap offload app and tap upload app again and then tap range the lab. Now, this might take some time, but don't worry. Once you're just done here, just get back here and just let's go back to that apps again find out the FaceTime so let me try FaceTime here select like that and now all you got to do just go ahead and just make sure that you have entered your Apple ID correctly and password should be correct as well and then just try to log in and see if that works or not if it's still a problem you can do one last work you can simply uh, log out your Apple ID entirely and log it back on again and hopefully this will definitely help you to solve your problems so if you guys have any more questions to ask please do them in the comment section see you all around